Hi, it's Chris here with Accent, and today we're going to be unboxing and actually setting up and configuring a Zoltus 47G IP phone. The 47G phone is one of the latest phones that uh, Zoltus has released, and Accent being an authorized partner of Zoltus, and Zoltus uh, helping to power some of Accent's Voice One cloud services, Accent has immediate access to all of Zoltus's products, including their newest uh, line of IP phones. Um, so the 47G, as I mentioned, one of the latest phones from Zoltus, and we've got a brand new Zoltus phone right here. It's the 47G, it's never been opened. We're gonna walk through, open it up, set it up physically, and then we're gonna actually configure this phone on the Zoltus MX phone system in the Voice One Cloud. All right, let's just uh, take a look at what we've got here. All right, so we open it up. Good packaging, nice presentation. Got the handset cord. Here's the actual phone itself and the packaging. All right, so we have a 47G body. And if this the phone looks familiar to you, it's because uh, the 47G and the Yealink 46S are very familiar, same body, and uh, this runs the Zoltus firmware, however, which integrates very tightly into the Zoltus MX architecture and the MX phone system. While the Zoltus platform is SIP-based, the Zoltus phones have the best integration for features and functionality with the Zoltus system. We recommend the Zoltus phones with the Zoltus system. I'm just going to put this to the side. So the rest of the packaging here, Pick it up. network cable, handset, and stand. So let's put the stand on the uh, phone first. Let's take the stand out of the box here. Put the back of the phone. Slide it in. Handset. We're going to take the handset. The line cord here. The handset cable, excuse me, hold on. Handset cable. All right, handset cable. Short end, long end. Short end goes in the handset. Long end goes in the back of the phone. If you've ever seen one of our unboxing videos before, you know the pro tip. Handset goes in the handset port, not the headset port. Handset cable and the handset port. <clears throat> and there we go. Now, it comes with a LAN cable. I've got one right here by my desk. I'm going to plug it into a cable that already has PoE. We'll toss that to the side for a minute. Let's turn this guy on. All right, so the phone's powering up here. You can see the uh, screen coming on, the welcome screen. I'm gonna keep the screen cover on here for a little bit. See the power's booting it up, and once this guy boots up, we'll take a look at it. And the 47G has a nice color display, has uh, 10 programmable buttons, a lot of hard-coded feature keys. You can see right here, five on each side. Soft feature keys as well on the bottom. Really nice phone. Expandable as well, the multiple expansion modules. If you need more buttons, more programmable BLFs, speed dials, whatever your business might require. All right, let's boot it up. We're obtaining an IP address. Right here. Let's check right here. All right, ready to go. Now, we've got no service because the phone is not yet uh, provisioned. And we're going to do that here momentarily. All 
Okay, so we have the phone set up. We have the phone plugged in. We've got it powered on. Now we need to get it provisioned so that we can use it on the phone system and start making calls. Uh, to do that, we're going to go to the MX Admin tool. Uh, now this video is going to assume you've got general knowledge of the MX Admin tool. You have access to it as well. If you don't have any of those things, you can call us. 800-589-7379. You can go to accentvoice.com as well. We can get you uh, set up with a Zoltus uh, cloud phone system on our Voice One Enterprise Edition. Or if you've got uh, or you have an on-premise phone system, contact your administrator or your support partner and you can uh, gain access to that potentially. So we're just going to open up the MX Admin tool here. And uh, first things first is you need to add the device. So you're going to right click in here anywhere and just select insert. We are going to add a, a Zip 47G. We're going to add one of those. Uh, we want to add that in Accent Delaware, so it has the correct 911 information. We're going to use a profile of 47G DNS for the Accent Voice Cloud. Again, our phones are provisioned out in our cloud infrastructure, so there's no on-prem hardware. We have a specific profile for that. Uh, MAC address, uh, I already grabbed that and copied it, so we're just going to paste that MAC address in. Here it is. And uh, if you are unsure of that MAC address, you can confirm it right here on the uh, back of the phone or with the packaging, the box of the phone itself. All right, so we're just gonna call this a uh, demo 47G. That'll be its screen name and then a really strong SIP proxy password. I'm gonna delete this profile after this video is created so nobody can steal my password and try to register to the system. But strong passwords and strong credentials are key to VoIP security, we recommend that always. All right, let's finish this up here and apply the changes. Perfect, we're good to go. No errors right here. All right, just minimize that. Now we're gonna move over to the users window. We've got our demo user extension 2400 set up. Again, already set this user up ahead of time. So uh, really no worries here, except for assigning the device itself. So we're gonna go in and click assign, and this is where we tie the device to the user. I just pasted the MAC address into the quick search. There it is, highlighted, hit okay. Okay again, always apply your set, your changes. And now we're ready to go. So now we've got the phone set up. We've added the phone to the system. We've got the user already set up. We had that set up before. We tied the phone to the user right there. You just saw that. Now what we're going to do is tell the phone to provision to this phone system. Now in the Accent uh, Voice One Cloud, we use a spe specific provisioning profile and a provisioning string for that. I'm going to take that provisioning string out of the Zolta system. I'm going to do that off camera and then add it. I'll come back and add it to the phone. We'll walk through that together. Uh, your provisioning string, your provisioning profile specific to your phone system, to your cloud provider, if you're using a cloud provider, contact those folks or again, give us a call, check out our website, accentvoice.com. We can help you with some of those things as well. So one moment here while we grab that and get back to the phone interface. So the next screen you see is gonna be the actual Zoltus phone interface as we get into that. Okay, so in order to finish configuring the phone and then to provision it, we have to browse to the Zoltus phone. And to do that, we're gonna need the IP address. I've got my phone here and I'm just going to hit the OK button and then I've got the IP address right here on the screen. It's nice and easy for you. So I'm just going to take that IP address and then open up a browser here. And browse to that IP address. All right, there it is. Uh, default username and password are uh, admin and admin. Log in. Perfect, okay, here I am on the status page. Uh, you can see this is gonna look very familiar if you've ever worked with a Yealink IP phone, as I mentioned earlier. This is really a um, similar to a Yealink uh, T-series IP phone with the Zoltus firmware and uh, Zoltus integration. Uh, very high quality uh, integration and feature set because of that uh, firmware. So it's gonna look and feel as you're browsing around quite like a, a Zoltus IP phone and, uh, or excuse me, a Yealink IP phone. And in a lot of situations, you might use this account tab here to actually configure the uh, SIP credentials. Uh, in our situation, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna actually use automated provisioning. 
And so that's going to be via the uh, settings tab and the auto provision function here. So we uh, accent, we have a, a unique way of provisioning our phones where we can just paste in a uh, provisioning address that I uh, already pasted in, or had already copied out of the Zolta system you know, off camera. And now I can click confirm and auto provision. All right, our phone is rebooting as it pulls down the configuration profile from the cloud. And we're going to hang out here for a moment while it does that. And once it does that, it'll pull down the extension information, the registration information, any button mapping, and any permissions or restrictions that might be applied to the phone as well. But we're going to have a fully provisioned and configured phone that we're going to be on make and take calls on uh, as soon as we um, uh, complete this reboot here. All right, here we go. We're obtaining an IP address. The phone is rebooted. It is provisioned. There we go. You can see the extension that we configured already had some voicemail with the demo system. And just like that, flashing light for voicemail, configured programmable buttons, and let's make a phone call. The system could not locate. Chris Cameron. Transfer Nobody there. Voicemail. So called an extension that didn't have a phone associated with it. So uh, it went right to voicemail. So uh, got a phone call here. Got a uh, fully provisioned phone. We'll, let's call a 10 digit number. Accents calling. Calling my cell phone here. Not going to answer, but you guys know how a phone call works. So that's it. Setup of the Zoltus 47 GIP phone. Pretty straightforward, especially when you're using auto provisioning, uh, such as we are with the Voice One Enterprise Cloud. Um, if you've got any further questions, you can always uh, message us at service at accentservices.com. Give us a call at 800 589 7379. You can always check out more of our videos on this channel. Subscribe to us, like this video as well, share it if you'd like, and then as always, visit us at www.accentvoice.com. This has been another one of our setup videos. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great day.